welcome back to my channel so today i am going to do a makeup tutorial on this look right here it's a soft glam look or rather you know a daily glam look whatever you call it so it is it's not the bam glow kind of look or you know the contour and chiseled uh, face kind of look no it's not that it's a simple glam look so if you have any party to crash or if you have a date night and you want to look damn pretty then i think you can go for this look without any doubt because it's not over the top but yet it will make you look damn pretty so if you want to know how i created this look keep on watching so like i say in all my videos you have to start with a prep face cleanse your face thoroughly and then use a good moisturizer or serum and if you're going outside ensure to apply sunscreen a good layer of sunscreen and keep it uh, for around you know 10 minutes so that your skin can absorb all the good stuff so i'm going to first rinse this rose water onto my face use your uh, blender to just buff it in so next step is to apply a primer you can choose any good primer take a pea size amount of the primer rub it between your fingers and pat it onto the t-zone and wherever you get oily so what does the primer do it mattifies your face gives a smooth base so that you can apply your makeup on uh, evenly and it doesn't you know if you have open pores it closes your pores and uh, doesn't make your foundation look uh, patchy so that's what a primer does so ensure you get a good primer so that your base is you know as flawless as it can be so before applying the foundation i'm going to apply uh, the concealer which is a shade uh, darker or similar to my skin tone and i'm going to apply on my under eye area um, you know just to cover it So I'm applying wherever I have blemishes and just covering it up. Nicely blend this out with your beauty blender. Just bounce it like this. Uh, don't drag under your eyes. Bounce it so that the concealer won't move. So after this, I'm going to apply my foundation. So uh, for this, I'll give you one tip. You have to, you know, for that natural looking uh, foundation to make your foundation look skin like, you can always take a pump of your foundation and mix it with some oil face oil uh, face oil not too sticky or greasy but some face oil you can even use almond oil a bit a drop of it add it to your foundation mix it up and then apply so you will have the coverage plus that uh, you know smooth skin like finish so this is one tip i uh, learned from this famous youtuber uh, wayne goss uh, so he's a qu he's quite popular and his tips are like amazing i think this is a brilliant uh, tip you know to get that uh, skin like finish so i'm going to take the pack hd foundation in the shade 2.5 and i'm going to take just one pump of it I'm going to take this uh, body shop oils of life Intensely revitalizing facial oil. I'm going to take uh, just a small drop of the oil Mixing it in and dotting it on my face Going in with my beauty blender. I'm just blending it all in uh, Don't use a dragging motion always buff it into your skin. So this will give you a smooth finish so you can see that you know instantly you can see that glowing uh, dewy finish so so this trick is just amazing because it makes your skin uh, look like you know your foundation you have full coverage foundation but still your skin looks like you know it's we have just applied BB cream or something doesn't look cakey so yeah this is how my face looks like and so I'm using the Ben Nye luxury powder uh, in the shade banana you can use a brush to just you know lightly dust this powder everywhere so one more tip if you have open pores or if you feel like you know when you apply your foundation your pores are enlarged it looks enlarged or pronounced you can use a brush and you know do this motion while you apply the foundation so that you are um, you know this is one trick i learned from Wayne Goss your 
foundation will seep into your pores the upper layer of your pores and it'll look like you know it'll cover all the uh, pores and give an even base and make your skin look flawless so that's one tip i learned from him so i'm going in with the uh, concealer again to hide the blemishes and marks and uh, you know wherever i need extra coverage under my eyes and near my mouth area and all and then with my damp beauty blender i'm blending it all in nicely and not dragging it uh, take extra care to not drag it in and after this i'm going in with the uh, powder but i'm taking powder in this uh, damp beauty blender only so this is another uh, trick uh, to get that even base and to set everything in place so the next tip is to use your kajal as your eyebrow pencil if you have dark gray eyebrows or black eyebrows uh, like me you can obviously use this uh, trick i mean this is tried and tested i do this daily just uh, keep, hold it like you hold a shading pencil you know when you shade a uh, picture likewise you do that fill in the sparse areas only don't overdraw or anything with the pencil then it might look little too uh, too much so just shade it wherever you have sparse areas and then comb it with your spoolie brush and the next tip is my favorite because you know that's the highlight of this video you have to apply your highlighter with a blush brush or a flat brush not you know precisely uh, and you have to apply it before your blush yes you heard it right and uh, just you know apply a highlighter wherever you want it in the cupid's bow nose wherever after that i'm going in with my blush and it might look a little too much now but um, trust me you guys it will <laughs> turn out fine so just apply a little bit extra blush and you know blend your highlighter and blush really well with that brush uh, and after that i'm going in with this loose powder in the same using the same brush i'm just subduing the color you know once you blend it with the powder it just subdues the color after that i'll go in with my blender to uh, set the area and uh, create a flawless base i'm just pushing the powder into my skin so it'll look nice and even now using a light hand i'm just dusting powder all over like very little not too much uh, just to set everything in place and then going in with the contour shade from the elf palette i'm lightly contouring my face it's not a contour and chiseled uh, look so don't use cream contour or you know just use it very lightly uh, so after that i'm going to clean the contour with the loose powder using my beauty blender only and you can you know to brighten your under eyes you can apply uh, loose powder there as well so I'm not baking my under eyes uh, because it will make my uh, under eye dry. If you want, if you can do it, uh, but I'm just applying it and then uh, after right after application, I'm dusting it off with the brush. So instantly you can see the clean contour and you know the bright under eyes. So that's the trick. Thereafter, going in with my face mess, I'm spritzing it all over my face. You can use uh, makeup fix also and uh, buffing it with my beauty blender so you know it's absorbed and everything just you know melts and becomes one that's the best part of applying a face mist so all the powder will the powderiness will go and you'll get a dewy finish so my uh, camera didn't capture the part where i applied i should have i just took the maybelline nudes eyeshadow palette and took that dark brown shade and applied it all over my crease with my fingers only and then that golden shade in the brow bone to highlight the brow bone also i applied the golden shade uh, in the inner corners of my eyes to highlight the eyes further uh, so you can use just your fingers for this and that's easy taking this sugar uh, liquid liner i'm uh, lining my eyes first draw a straight line uh, and after that we can extend the line to create a wing so i thought you know a wing look because i like wearing wing it just instantly glamps up your look so that's why i chose a winged eyeliner and this is my go-to eye look uh, because i love winged eyeliner so now to uh, give some extra oomph to your eyes so take some good mascara i'm taking the lash sensational and giving two three coats to upper and lower lash so if you're not using a falsy this is a must so now I'm taking off uh, the lip balm from my lips and uh, wearing this beautiful color from the Colourpop uh, uh, Lippy Stick. It's in the shade Gold Digger. I just love this uh, shade. So this for this look, I just wanted something, you know, a little bit pinky, but not too pinky. And this is a pink uh, nude shade, uh, not too bright. Uh, it has slight mauve undertone. So i really like the shade for this look and going in with uh, my blusher again just to you know add a little bit of pickiness because i wanted this look to be all floral because i'm wearing a floral dress i wanted my cheeks to be a little bit rosy going in with the mist 
spraying it all over my face and buffing it you know the trick by now so this is my final look and I've paired it with uh, these beautiful earrings that I had in my collection. Oh,